The federal government has commenced an impact assessment to ascertain the level of destruction during the recent fire explosion at an illegal refinery in Imo State. The intention is to know the amount of relief to provide to families affected during the incident. Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Umar Farouk, who was represented by an official of the ministry, disclosed this at a press conference in Owiri, the Imo State capital, where she notes the purpose of the exercise is to assist victims in getting their lives back. I implore community leaders, traditional and religious leaders, women and youth groups, to join hands with NEMA to serve as watchdogs and continuously advocate against the setup, the setup and set use of refinery facilities in their communities. In order to protect lives, property, and the environment, it is obvious that disaster risk management is first a local and collective endeavor before it becomes national. Our visit today is not only to condole with the good people of Imo State, but also to, ask, to assess the extent of the disaster and also ascertain the volume of relief to provide for the victims for the purpose of assisting them to build back better. While we pray that such a disaster will not happen again, NEMA is still working with IMO State Emergency Management Agency, SEMA, to conclude the assessment of the impact of the disaster.